the dream of being able to put a cichlid style tank with dart frogs and, and lizards. This is an accumulation of a lot of research and I never thought I'd be able to do something like this. I never thought I'd be able to create an environment that had water and, and rainforest and, and humidity and all of the things that I enjoyed looking at. I didn't think I could do this. Thank you so much to Custom Aquariums for being able to make this happen. Josh's Frogs for giving me the information that I needed and folks like you who continue to push me every day to create better, more complex and beautiful enclosures and also a special thanks to Tanner, AKA Serpent Design, for all of his inspiration. Hope you're subscribed. I hope you're ready for a dream that I've been thinking of in my head for years come true. Wish we had like a little ramp for that lip right there. When you do not allow this to be blocked by anything around you, you can create amazing things like this. Now, I'm gonna go over this briefly before I get too excited and I ramble. Universal Rocks platform, it's a bowl. I added ABG mix. Um, as you saw, I was blending it all in with all of the pond foam. And then it is stilted on two inch PVC. It's black. The substrate is all carob seed, except for the incident that I had with aquaphor as a soil that turned this whole thing muddy, which is probably why you see a lot of these uh, speckles and that light tannin color. It actually turned out pretty good after I got it all cleaned up. Um, I've got 
two whale canister 500s running the bottom. Four power heads are in the back, not because they're not powerful, but it's because these are all Congo River Basin fish, which require high moving, um, that get quick, clean, little bit cooler, not 80 degree type water. Um, accidentally have a zebra pleco in there that is doing phenomenally. Uh, this tank has been up and running for about three weeks. Um, I'm gonna wait another month or so before I put any frogs or lizards up top. And the reason being is because I want these plants to, what's the word? settle in, dig their roots in. Um, there is the holes that I drilled into this basin and those holes are designed to allow water to fall right back into the water part of this glass enclosure. Uh, custom aquariums, paludarium, 48, 36 by 30 front to back, Universal Rocks background as well. There's a hole right up at the top here that I can cut out and add another whale canister. It's, it's plumbed, it's ready to go, and its design is literally to be a waterfall so that it can kind of trickle down off that jolt that comes out. This is a new background from Universal Rocks. All these plants are either from the vivarium that I had from my vision cages, uh, nano vivarium build, along with all of redone wood that I've had. This is all stuff that I've had except for some of the plants. All of the driftwood is from the Congo Aquarium. If you remember that one, uh, you can go back and see how we set that up. It was a five foot. Um, this is actually bigger in terms of volume. It's just not as long, but very deep. I kept the back really dark for those fish to feel very secure. Um, yeah, this is, I mean, Aquarium Fish Depot has some crazy fish. They're the ones that hooked me up with uh, the Shrudeni, which is the puffer fish, and a lot of the other tetras. The ability to create a rainforest up top with a water basin on the bottom to create your own environment is simply phenomenal. To be able to use our minds creatively is even more phenomenal. We put so many limitations on what we're able to do as human beings that it prevents us from moving forward. I don't care who you are, where you're from, what you came from, what you had when you started, what you have right now, you have the ability to create the most amazing whatever it is that you're passionate about. Whenever you put off something with procrastination, it's because you didn't want to do it. I didn't want to show this yet because that whole muddy thing that I showed on social media, uh, there's still some remnants of it. But again, I do feel that it turned out to be an even better, more natural looking enclosure. And that's what I'm driving to in here. So if the neighborhood kids or my son wants to come in, I want them to see a piece of nature, not something that was just slapped together. And what we see on the internet with the plants and the rocks and the beauty of this worldwide aquascaping, you know, um, culture and genre, which by all means are artists in their own right. You don't have to do or replicate that. You could take a piece of the Amazon rainforest, the Congo, you could take a piece of the world you have in your mind and as long as everything can tie together in terms of habitat, humidity, temperature, food, you can create something just like this, maybe even better. I hope not, but no, I'm just kidding. I believe that this is one of the best designed enclosures that I've ever done. It's running two canisters, four power heads. The Congo fish down there love fast, clean, a little bit cooler than warm uh, water, which is why there's, right now there's three, but there'll be four power heads. And of course, now the zebra pleco that's in there accidentally, well, they love clean, moving, fast water. And he was doing great. I saw him earlier, I was trying to capture him. Let me see. No, nope, I thought that was him. He usually like to hang out under this piece of wood or in a pleco cave that I put in there because, well, it is what it is right now. I'm so excited. I get to sit and watch. This is better than any TV show, any Netflix series, any documentary. This is nature in front of my face and I created it. You can create something like this. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for enjoying my channel. And if you're not enjoying it, I'm sorry. But if you found value out of what you just saw, please hit the subscribe button, the notification bell, and leave a comment of what you would do if you had the ability to get an amphibious tank just like this. What would you put in it? And do me a favor, go follow Serpa Design, go follow Josh's Frogs, Universal Rocks, and of course, Custom Aquariums. Because without them, 
and folks like you and Universal rocks from the beginning to now, I wouldn't be able to do some of the most amazing things that I'm able to do and I am very grateful, very grateful. Well, you know what's next. Holla!